Good day everyone! Today, we will be discussing effects of interactions among organisms. Together, let's make learning science fun and easy. An organism cannot exist when they are living alone. An ecosystem should be composed of different organisms for it to survive. These interactions may be either good or bad, but always leading to a balanced ecosystem. There are two types of effects that may happen between or among organisms. It may be one short term like pollination and predation or two long term by which both organisms often strongly influence the evolution of the species involved. These biological interactions are important in nature in, in keeping the balance of nature. It maintains the food web. A food web shows the food relationship among living organisms, and most food webs starts with green plants. If biological interactions doesn't exist, many animals would die from starvation as the food web wouldn't exist. Let's do this. Study the chart below. Complete your answer by arranging the words in the second column. The interaction is commensalism. Effect, orchid to tree, benefited. Tree to orchids, not benefited nor harmed. Mutualism, plant to bee, benefited, bee to plant, benefited. Predation, shark to fish, benefited. Fish to shark, harmed. Parasitism, human to mosquito, harmed, mosquito to human, benefited. Let's do this. Study the pictures below. Describe the interaction that exists between organisms in their environment. Write the effects of interaction on these organisms. Sea anemone and fish is a commensalism. The clownfish get protection and the sea anemone is not harmed. Clownfish and sea grasses. This is a commensalism. The clownfish has a nursery and breeding ground, and the sea grasses is not harmed. Crocodile and fish. This is a prudential. The crocodile benefited from eating the fish. Insect and flower. This is a mutualism. The bee gets to eat from the flower and the flower gets pollinated because of the bee. Carabao and grass. This is a mutualism. The carabao gets to eat and the saliva, urine, feces left behind as fertilizer. At home, we have pets like dogs and cats, just like in nature. You, as the owner, has a special relationship with your pets. What are the effects of having a pet or plants to you? Can you suggest ways on how to take good care of them?
effects of interaction. I can say that my interaction with my pet is a mutualism because we both benefited from each other. If we care for them, they will also show love to us. Ways of taking good care of my pet Always feed them with appropriate food. Regularly visit veterinary clinic. Show affection to your pet. Thank you for watching. Till our next science lesson. Goodbye.